Hey, A5 Community, Aubrey here with Dev Central, and I'm standing here with Manoj Parmar from AI Shield, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about our partnership. How are you doing today? Doing great. It's a great Tuesday morning, actually, I'd say. <laughs> Absolutely, the floor just opened, and it's like yeah. it's wild. Yes. Is this I mean, your first? Is this your first time here? No, after COVID fasting. Ah, okay. All right. So <laughs> you're at least used to this yes. a little bit. Okay, good. And good. when I was coming down from the top, when the people were there at 10 o'clock lined up, and it gave me a like, okay, nothing has changed. <laughs> yes, yeah. It's still the same packed yes. RSA yes. conference. Yes. So tell me a little bit about uh, about the, the partnership here. When did we end up becoming partners? This is a new thing, eh? Yes, it's a new thing. And it's a pretty... Let's say in today's world, it's a kind of an exciting how fast we converted the partnership to something which we can put in front of the users and the developers who really like it. So let me just dial it back, right? We are in the May. In the February uh, is when we started discussing the first call, saying that how can we work together because there was a huge demand of a generative AI application to make it secure. And with my previous work at Miters at last and other places where I wrote this entire framework, we have built the AI security in terms of with a dedicated team, uh, with the knowledge and our product, we had a lot of leads and FY team was really, really, you know, welcoming, saying that how we can really work together because they were also on the journey to provide in the security for this newer uh, area, which is generative AI, right? So, February, we started talking, March, we thought about how we can do this particular thing. In April, we built it, we demoed it, and now we're in the May where we are announced it, right? Five days ago. So, it's a pretty fast in terms of, let's say, a partnership from inception to a delivery kind of anything. That hey, it's a software world. If we are not doing that fast, then somebody else is doing it. That's right. And that speaks volumes mm -hmm. to ease of the solution. That's yes. good. So let's say, uh, just for the community's sake, can you describe what AI Shield does? Sure. I mean, I think the name is extremely <laughs> descriptive. I like it. But what does AI Shield do just for the community? Correct. So the AI Shield is the full stack AI application security uh, company. We're starting from your supply chain to the development to the operations. Wherever you are either building in a model or deploying the model or the application is this, our job is to secure them. Our vision is to secure AI systems of the world, which Great. is there. Great. Uh, and that's what we do. And we have a product uh, portfolio com encompassing all the three aspects with our platform called Secure AI X. And the partnership that we have done very specifically is for the last component, which is called AI Shield Guardian, whose okay. job is to do the generative AI security. Fantastic. Yeah. So, speaking of that partnership, oh, what sure. can you describe the integration? Yes. Sure. So, with the generative AI, the organizations are going to use the LLM, whether they have developed it or somebody else. And these LLMs are not going to stand on their own, they will be integrated with an application. Right? So, with the traditional application, the traditional WAF is always there. And then, a lot of our customers ask that, guys, should we take you? Then we have to replace the WAF. And we were like, no, that cannot happen. Because we can't take care of a lot of other things, right? Uh, so we said we are augmenting the WAF which is there uh, and FY perfectly fits in that particular part which is there but let me tell you a little bit what we do. So let's say in the FY if you have the multi-cloud uh, distribution uh, things and within the app stack today we sit there as a guardian as a, a single container runs within your CE or RE wherever you are deploying it and ensures that all of your traffic which is going to generative AI applications are screened whether it is coming from user to generative AI or generative AI to this. So input, output, both way that we do. And we have a 75 plus security controls and policy controls that organizations can activate on top of a traditional WAF, which is there. So the whole idea is that if you now go back to the OWASP related aspects, you have the OWASP top 10 for API security and web and everything. And now we have the OWASP top 10 LLM is what we really cover there. And we just, to be very, very simply, we stay within the app stack of the uh, f 5 multi-cloud distribution thing. So which means that any kind of an application, any number of application organizations are developing it, we can monitor that particular thing and we come in a, this Dev Central guy's most important thing, reverse proxy way. Yeah. <laughs> so previously you had in a one endpoint which you were driving to the reverse proxy, now you just have to change it to the new endpoint but it's still a reverse proxy and you get all the controls, not only the WAF but also the generative AI aspects. So you mentioned the OAS top 10 for LLM apps. Yes. What uh, what of the top 10 are you guys looking to cover mostly? Sure. So first of all, there is a little bit of a history. This OWASP top 10 is coming from more of a user point of view and less from the model developers or the application point of view. This is the first time that we have seen because now we are looking at a content 
which is engaged with any users, that means the humans which are there. So first time, the OWASP top 10 has a human aspect, no longer a technical things, but also the human aspects. And these are the most difficult that we are not covering, which is the over-reliance and the over-agency. That means if somebody over-relies on the LLM uh, to take that particular answer, uh, it's very difficult to do that. However, we do our job there as well. Yep. Uh, which is, so you know, the flag that, hey, this might not be really the true things, which is there. The factfulness is a little bit shaky. The grounds are not fine. So we give the user in a feedback saying that there is something there. But again, people will rely on that. So that's the one thing which we don't cover fully. The second thing is the over-agency, yeah. which is also the thing. You delegate in a task to the LLM and you hope that they might conclude that particular task in a specific way and give you back the answers. You're only looking at output, but you don't have a clear understanding that what has happened in the background. So this is also we don't cover. And remaining out of this two, everything else yeah. we cover, <laughs> which includes the prompt injections, the sensitive information disclosure, which is there, the model theft uh, aspects are there, some of the most typical aspects which we see. And people keep asking me that, wouldn't my DLP solutions be sufficient for this particular thing? But what we have seen is with the Gen AI, you are looking like four different things in a one single solution. You need to have a DLP, you need to have an AWAF, you need to have your policy control plane, and you need to be organizational single point of an, uh, you know, the plane, single plane, in order to do this. That's like talking about four different ca categories mashing into the one. Yeah, <laughs> that's and right. That, that's going to be a very, very difficult, but what we realized very early on uh, is following, that traditional security controls will be there, what pieces that we need to augment. And that's the foundational ground for our partnership with an F5 in this particular case. Awesome. Do we have any uh, any videos or anything that are already done for yes. this partnership? So we have, an, uh, let me say, the set of an uh, artifacts that is already there. So FI has the blog on their side, AI Shield has an, a PR which is there, and we have an, a video tutorial about how we integrate, how it works. And this tutorial is not for the, let's say, the very top execs, it's for the practitioners. It's like how to install AI Shield within a CE, how to, what it takes to activate certain controls, how you can test that particular thing, and not only that, given observability also, that something is working or not there and there inside. And finally, it also gives you the very simple thing that if your developers are today developed an application, this is the one particular endpoint that you just change it and everything works. And the beauty with this is that if your organization has, let's say, five use cases, and certain as are very stringent use cases, where you are really worried about the sensitive information disclosure, you can activate those controls. So, organization has no full control what they want to activate, what kind of a trade-off they want to do with respect to the user experience, which is the utility, versus the security trade-off which is there. And this doesn't come at the so much of a performance cost, let me tell you. Tell you in terms of, you know, the return trip delays and latencies that people are expecting pretty fast. And finally, you know the most important thing? What's that? We did industry's first multi-model guardrail, which means not only the text, but the image and the OCR, if any kind of those kind of an, a content that you're interacting with LLM, we are there. That's spectacular to hear. Yes. That's uh, multi-model, multi-modal can be very difficult. Yes, multi-model is difficult and that's why I just give that, you know, the particular thing that it doesn't come at the performance cost so much and it runs in your environment. So you're not sending your data to anyone. There. <laughs> That's Even before we, leaving your organization. <laughs> that, that's always, uh, I think, refreshing for people to understand. Yes. And with that, I, you know, thank you for the time today, thank Manoj. You. It was great to meet you. Thank and you uh, as well. thank you, community. We're going to include you. those links yes. as soon as we get this posted. And keep it tuned to RSA 2024 with DevCentral. I'm Aubrey.